today we'll be working on a very deep subject of vigyan bhairav tantra so this is a discussion between lord shiva shiva is one of the originators of yoga and his wife parvati so they, he says that what do you do up in the mountains what do you do that you sit like this for days months and years so then he explores and talks about all the dimension he has explored in this universe vigyan means science bhairav bhairav is a kind of energy that resides in every one of us okay uh, because it's shiva so he says bhairav bhairav is kind of a subtle energy very very subtle and today we are going to walk into very deep dimension today as we will be doing the operational side so if you see a bhairav tantra a vigyan bhairav tantra those sanskrit language and the understanding of them is so hard and difficult that if you etymologically break and break the line you will get no head and tail of it because a man with a very deep subtle awareness when he writes he writes french and latin which normal awareness cannot normal aware people cannot understand and correlate to so what we will be doing in this class or this session today is one two three sutra of vigyan bhairav tantra we will be making it operational in our body what we will do operational in our body i have this body i will take care of the body from today and that was vigyan bhairav tantra first lesson is about i am aware that i need to take care of my this self say about 20 times 50 times 100 times till you understand that you remember that you are breathing we go to step 2 after that i remember i am breathing i remember i am breathing i'm aware i am breathing i know i am breathing tell yourself i won't move i won't move i have moved enough learn to be still like a stone the whole craft of meditation lies in that stone lying down by the side of the river till i don't pick it it just lies down there and then the stone starts to observe then the reality starts walking inside then the mirror gets clean i am breathing that's all you don't have to be aware of what you are breathing how you are breathing i am breathing this your chant inside you are not interested right now how you are breathing what is your breath rate am i breathing just i am breathing this knowing that i am breathing brings in an space a dimension so vigyan bhairav tantra talks about that just mere alertness that i am breathing changes everything within me now be aware that without even closing nose check which side of your nozzle is open and which side of your nozzle is closed be aware. now you bring your awareness to which section which part of my nose is more open and which part which side is less open by doing 7 to 10 deep breaths as you know you are breathing you are bringing an awareness to your breath now bring your awareness that i am breathing heavily through my right nose only bring your awareness that i am breathing through right nose only more so we have 72000 nadis in the body as vasis samhita talks about and out of those 72000 nadis we can have only control over two nadis what are nadis nadis are electrical circuit of our body when you operate you don't see them like you cannot operate and find where happiness lies where pain lies where anger lies otherwise by now doctor would have cut that organ which creates anger so this comes under sensations bring your awareness that my right side of the body is heavier than my left side of the body i am happy i am alone for now i have time for the self 
This is exploring oneself. This is what we do when we want to know who we are. Know how from Vigyan Bhairav Tantra. Beautiful. We move into next sutra. And that says that between two breaths, there is a center. Now forget exhalation, inhalation. Inhale, sit on the center more and exhale. Inhale, hold, exhale. Now this holding center, this center has to be looked deeply. This center has to be explored deeply now. Now depending upon what is your capacity of the lung, you will explore your center. But don't disturb your breathing process. Don't hold it that far that your breath rate changes. If it changes, it will bring in new sensation. Not required right now. Just be subtle as if the stone lying down by the side of River Ganga. It breathes so subtly that we don't see it. Similarly, your breath pattern has to be so subtle that outside, no one should be able to know you are doing a breathing meditation. That's subtle. Now, next sutra talks about that at one point you will see the prana turning. Once again, next segment of the sutra is at one point you will see the prana turning. Turning means imagine like a test tube. In, turn, out. Find that turn. Know where it is turning. Check which part of your body the breath is going. Then you will be able to turn. Now see, you don't have to pause or do anything to the breath. Just inhale, let it turn and exhale. Get your tube going inside. The test tube shape. Check. Now, next segment of Sutra is that the turn happens at the navel. Next segment of the Sutra says the turn happens at the navel. Now inhale, go down to your navel, turn, exhale. If you have to stretch your leg, you can, but do it as slow that your breath pattern is not disturbed. Don't do it fast, otherwise it will break. It will take another 20 minutes for you to go back. Very slow movement, as if it's happening on its own. It won't bring the it won't break the pattern. Relax, smile, get that constant thing going. That's why I call the laughing Buddha. Buddha never not smiles. Beautiful. The next segment of the sutra, Shiva says that my life force energy from the mother comes from the umbilical cord at the navel area. So there where it will turn, I'm able to use this body and make it turn. Once the breath pattern learns to turn, the entire chakras of your body can be balanced. If all the chakras of your body is balanced, you will be the most creative human being world will ever know. Main segment of the sutra, observe that your breath going in, the center of the breath is the navel and it is this point where the breath turns. Bring your awareness to the turn and when it turns, it has to slow down there till it goes up. Inhale, go to a junction where it will turn, slow down and exhale as if you are walking in a tube-like shape. When you go down the tube, when the turn happens, you are slowing down. 